This section covers the potential benefits of using FABMs to achieve pregnancy, including patients with possible infertility. Since FABMs provide a woman with valuable information about her body, that information can be used for many purposes. Some FABMs can reduce time to achieve a pregnancy. Most of the methods discussed in this course identify a fertile window in the menstrual cycle. Since identifying a fertile window can be enough to avoid pregnancy, then can also provide enough information to achieve pregnancy in healthy women. Here's a fact. It takes one year of random acts of intercourse for about 85% of couples to achieve pregnancy. Intercourse, however, does not have to be random. Couples who know the fertile window can use it to reduce the time to achieve a pregnancy. In fact, Knopf and colleagues found that it takes only six months for 81% of those using the symptothermal method to achieve pregnancy. Some FABMs can do more than just identify a fertile window. They may serve as a tool to monitor reproductive health and guide appropriate management of gynecological problems, including infertility. The Creighton model in particular is one of these methods because it is linked to NAPRO technology. Two peer-reviewed studies demonstrate how NAPRO-trained family doctors and OBGYNs can learn ways to address and potentially treat infertility. The doctors in these studies were family physicians who were trained as Creighton medical consultants. With this training, they used the information gleaned from the woman's charts to help identify the root cause of infertility and then attempted to treat the underlying causes using NAPRO technology. The key outcome of these studies was not just pregnancies, which is often the measure of success for artificial reproductive technologies, but actual live births. Since pregnancies can result in miscarriages or other undesired outcomes, looking at actual live births is important because having a baby is what matters most to patients struggling with infertility. This table shows how NAPRO technology can be used to diagnose and treat causes of infertility. All of this research was done by family physicians using NAPRO technology's evolving body of treatment-focused research. Note that in this study, before the NAPRO evaluation, 47.2% of couples had no explanation as to why they could not conceive, and 11.6% had no clear explanation for why they were consistently miscarrying. After the NAPRO evaluation, more than 99% of the patients had a better understanding of the causes of their infertility or recurrent miscarriages. Many received new diagnoses of conditions that were often treatable once the diagnoses were made. For example, over 86% of patients had suboptimal luteal progesterone, and over 63% of patients had suboptimal luteal estrogen. How well did the diagnosis and treatment of these causes of infertility translate into patient-oriented evidence that matters, or POEMS? In the study by Stanford and colleagues, where the average woman was of advanced maternal age and had been trying to conceive for more than five years, they reported 52.8 live births per 100 couples. Pham and colleagues had even better results, with 66 live births occurring per 100 couples. Again, this was with a population of older women who were trying to get pregnant for more than three to five years. With training in medical and or surgical NAPRO technology, family physicians or obstetricians may have the ability to treat infertility with live birth rates comparable to artificial reproductive technologies and without the ethical concerns associated with ART.